starter on this thing. I've never had one on it before. Never had any trouble with it before, but I had a fuel filter and I put it on after this rebuild. I don't know if that'll turn out to be a mistake or not, but it's hard to think that a filter would be a mistake. I see a little bit of wind on the river over there. Definitely picking up. I'll probably be parked over here. Yeah, this thing is definitely set lower on the right. I have to get a better adjustment on it. Need to get with somebody who knows what they're doing so they can help me. This Adam 80 was running over RPMs, I noticed, a full throttle. So I'll take a good look at that plug again. I looked at it once, it looked alright, but... And I also think I might have just a little bit too much compression going on here. We'll take a look at Joel's field and see see some more coyotes. I don't well at the time of this flight I haven't posted the video with the coyotes yet. But I was out here the other day and there was a pair of coyotes. Well first there was three deer. Two deer and a real young fawn. And then just around the corner here, there was two coyotes that had caught wind of them and was kind of creeping up on them. The deer over here are used to me, so they weren't paying too much attention to me. But when I got down low, they looked at me. When they did, they saw the coyotes ran off. The coyotes didn't chase after them. They just turned into the field, and then they started working together like a team. And one would move up through the row of uh, soybeans. And chase what must have been mice or something to the other one and it would catch them and then they'd switch off there's a deer and then they'd switch off so they go back and forth back and forth one had run forward the other one would catch whatever ran out they, they did that all up the field I got down within a hundred feet of them they saw me right away and then paid no attention to me at all after that I was flying the Moster so it was noisy Wow, that motor feels hot back there. I don't have a temperature gauge on it. But I can feel the heat coming up by my arm. Wish I had a mirror on here, but I don't. I meant to put one on there. There's a buck right below me. He's right down there. That'll give you vertigo look between your toes. We're crapping along. Cattle are coming back here to the far back field. they just opened the gate for them or what. Or maybe this is their ritual. They got fed. Got their grain and headed out to the good grass, I suppose.
Well, my buck didn't like me flying straight over him, so he stepped into the woods, I guess. Horses down here don't pay attention to me anymore either. They were always a little more shy than the cattle. Well, I got this new harness, and I'm not going to judge it yet. So I get it adjusted quite a few times. Get a little confidence in it. I know why the adjustment's off. I just remembered so. So. I do wish my seat was a little more comfortable. there and they went to cut the hay from this field in front of this guy's house which would be a nice place to land normally that's what I thought the other day when I tried to use it it was you can't tell from down here but it the ruts and it was so deep that it was plum dangerous That owl that was sitting on the front of my car the other day when I was out here flying. Man, he starts early. There he goes. He's cruising low over the field. I don't know if I can get him on camera, but he's paying no attention to me. There he is. seen me enough that he's still hunting to be flying around him. Yeah, to an owl. I have no idea what it's going to be like to land this thing. Do I'm going to check my straps good before I get out of this seat. Let me go down here and take a look once. Maybe there's a place to land down at this end and I could just walk that path there. Of course the cattle probably wouldn't care for it. There's cattle over here. I don't want to scare the cattle under any circumstances.
folks have been awful nice to me around here. I don't want to mess up that. Well, let me get some altitude. I want to check all my stuff. New harness and all. bumps there's the bumps I knew was here Killed that switch again. Hit that kill switch again. Every time. See what happens here. See if I can run this out. <clears throat> well, we're down anyway. I slipped pretty good, but we stayed on our feet. All right, YouTubers. <clears throat> We're down. I'm gonna walk up here, then I'm gonna walk to my van and bring it down. <clears throat> Came in a little bit fast, but wasn't too bad. There's a critter up there. <laughs> Love this Adam 80. Man, I could walk around with this on my back all day now. I remember when I first started flying, I thought this thing was so heavy. <laughs> it's just funny. This harness didn't turn out too bad. It's not adjusted, but that's my fault. I know what I did. <coughs> There's two loops on it there where it hooks up. I had it hooked up short. After I adjusted it, I changed it to long and didn't readjust anything else. That is what happened. That's what happened. All right then. I believe I can drive to right here without a problem. Adieu, adieu. Let's unhook the wrong thing first. 
At least they don't want to drop this and get to repack it again. All right. These worked out fine on the landing. The reserve wasn't really in the way and didn't seem to come loose. So I guess new harness will probably be okay. See y'all later. Bye.